It all started in 2010 when Samsung launched the first Galaxy S, a phone that would go on to reshape the mobile world forever. And Samsung has built an empire, with phones ranging from budget-friendly devices to cutting-edge flagships. But amidst all the innovation, there's one game-changing decision that shook the smartphone industry. The end of the iconic Note series. Why did Samsung kill the Note and merge it with the S Ultra? Was it the end of an era or the beginning of something even bolder? In this video, we're diving into every Samsung phone lineup, from the F-Series all the way to the revolutionary foldables, to discover the real reason behind each series and the powerful impact they've had on the mobile world. And if you love in-depth tech content like this, make sure to subscribe to Daikon and hit that bell icon, because this is just the beginning. Samsung F-Series, the online budget king. Let's go back to 2020, when Samsung introduced a brand new lineup called the F-Series. It was a time when budget-conscious buyers wanted long battery life, decent performance, and a no-frills smartphone experience without spending too much. Samsung saw an opportunity and launched the Galaxy F41, a phone designed for people who just needed a reliable phone with a massive battery. The F-Series was built for one primary purpose, delivering essential smartphone features at the lowest possible cost. No unnecessary gimmicks, no premium extras, just a sturdy phone that lasts all day. It became a favorite among students, while casual users, and those who wanted a long-lasting device for everyday tasks. But there's a catch. While the F-Series shines in battery life, it lacks the premium feel of higher-end Samsung phones. The cameras are just average, and the performance isn't built for intensive gaming or heavy multitasking. Still, for someone who needs a basic, reliable phone at an unbeatable price, the F-Series gets the job done. Popular model, Galaxy F41, launched in October 2020, featuring a 6,000 mAh battery and a Super AMOLED display, making it perfect for media consumption. Samsung M-Series, bigger battery, bigger value. Now let's rewind a little further to 2019, when Samsung unveiled the M-Series. Think of the M-Series as the F-Series, but with more power and better features. The idea behind the M-Series was simple. People wanted big batteries, smooth displays, and better performance without jumping to flagship prices. Samsung answered with the M10 and M20, setting the stage for a lineup that quickly became known for power-packed budget devices. These phones weren't just about affordability. They offered high refresh rate displays, Snapdragon or Exynos processors, and huge 5,000 mAh to 6,000 mAh batteries. Perfect for someone who spends their day watching videos, gaming, or scrolling through social media, needing a device that wouldn't die before sunset. But here's where it falls short. While the M series delivers incredible battery life, its build quality and cameras often feel like an afterthought. The performance is better than the F-Series, but it's still not flagship level. If you need a budget phone that goes the extra mile, the M-Series is a solid pick. Popular model, Galaxy M32, July 2021, featuring a 90 Hz AMOLED display and a 6,000 mAh battery, a killer combo for budget-conscious users. Samsung A-Series, the perfect mid-range powerhouse. Now, things start to get interesting. Let's jump to 2014, when Samsung introduced the A-Series, a lineup that would completely change the mid-range smartphone market. Samsung knew there were users who wanted something better than budget phones, but didn't want to spend flagship money. They needed great design, solid cameras, and a premium experience without the premium price tag. That's where the A-Series came in. This lineup became known for sleek metal and glass designs, super AMOLED displays, and versatile camera systems. It gave buyers a taste of Samsung's premium flagship experience at half the price. The A-Series was perfect for students, professionals, and content creators who wanted a powerful yet affordable device. But of course, nothing is perfect. While the A-Series delivers premium looks, it can't match the raw performance of the flagship S-Series. The processors, while good, don't have the same level of power for high-end gaming or professional-grade photography. Still, if you want a stylish, feature-packed phone without breaking the bank, the A-Series is the sweet spot. 
Now, let's take a moment to talk about one of Samsung's most iconic lineups ever, the Note series. Back in 2011, Samsung did something bold. They introduced the Galaxy Note, a phone with an enormous screen and a stylus called the S Pen. People laughed at the idea of a huge phone, but Samsung was ahead of its time. The Note series wasn't just a phone, it was a power tool for business professionals, creators, and productivity lovers. It offered cutting-edge processors, massive displays, and the legendary S Pen, making it perfect for multitasking, sketching, and note-taking. But in 2021, Samsung made a shocking decision. The Note series was discontinued, and its DNA was merged into the S Ultra lineup. Why? Samsung realized that foldables were the future, and maintaining both the Note and S Ultra series no longer made sense. Instead of releasing two separate flagships, they decided to combine them into one, the S22 Ultra and beyond. For Note fans, it was a bittersweet moment. But the S Pen lives on, now built into the S Ultra models, keeping the spirit of the Note alive. Popular model, Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, August 2020, the last true Note phone, featuring a 6.9-inch AMOLED display and 108 megapixel camera. Samsung Foldables, the future of smartphones. As Samsung moved past the Note series, they focused on something new, foldables. The Z Flip and Z Fold series were designed to push the boundaries of smartphone design, offering a new way to interact with devices. The Z Fold transformed from a phone into a tablet, while the Z Flip folded down into a compact, pocket-sized device. Foldables represent the future, but they still have downsides. They're expensive, their durability is improving but not perfect, and not everyone is ready to embrace this new form factor. Popular model, Galaxy Z Flip 5 2023, a compact yet powerful foldable with flagship performance. Samsung S Series, the ultimate flagship experience. Finally, we reach the crown jewel of Samsung's lineup, the S Series. Launched in 2010, the S series has always been about power, innovation, and cutting-edge technology. Whether it's industry-leading cameras, stunning dynamic AMOLED displays, or the latest Snapdragon processors, the S series is Samsung's ultimate flagship experience. If you want the best Samsung has to offer, the S series is the way to go. And there you have it, the full story behind every Samsung series. Let me know which series you prefer in the comments below. And if you love this breakdown, don't forget to subscribe to Daikon for more in-depth content. See you in the next one.